And a former Louisville police detective is planning to plead guilty to a civil rights charge stemming from the shooting that left Breonna Taylor dead. Kelly Goodlett is scheduled to be in court next week to enter her plea before a federal judge. Now, the former detective, she is expected to plead to one count of conspiring to violate Taylor's civil rights for helping to falsify an affidavit for the search of Breonna's apartment. Goodlett faces no more than five years in prison. And Taylor was shot to death during a no-knock warrant by Louisville police back in 2020. Taylor's boyfriend shot back when the door to the apartment was knocked down during the execution of the warrant. Um, you know, like my mother always says, what's done in the, the dark will come to the light. Yes. And so it is about time that we are pulling back all the layers of everyone who had something to do with this. The thing is, though, I feel like had she not falsified the document in the first place, they never would have been able to get the warrant to go to the house. And so the fact that she's only facing five years uh, seems a little problematic just because she kind of set the whole thing in motion. So it was her and two other cops. They are now charged with the conspiracy to falsify documents, which allowed them to get the search warrant to go into uh, Breonna Taylor's house. So she, resi she resigned from the police force two weeks ago, about a week and a half ago now, once these charges were announced. Um, but, you know, it, it, just, it just says, uh, had she not done this, had they not conspired to lie on the affidavit, maybe none of this would happen. And so I think we need to kind of look, I mean, and I know the Justice Department is doing the best that they can in charging the cops with what, and we are, we are happy that they're finally, we're getting some justice. But again, she set this whole thing in motion, and that's yeah. how I see it. You know, Mimi, the one thing that you said that is uh, the most important part here is that peeling back the layers, because for some reason, this case was so passionate, was so, um, it, there was, it, you could tell that there were holes in the situation. There was holes in every single part of what happened to Breonna Taylor, and so many people around the world, national outcry to to prosecute the cops that are responsible for this, even down to Daniel Cameron, the attorney general, everything just did not add up from beginning no. to end. And so to know, I was, I mean, I gasped, honestly, when I saw this, they're like, whoa, this is actually groundbreaking to know because it made you honestly realize, are we, am I not seeing what I saw? Am I not, because it just, it didn't add up. So I'm so happy that, like you said, the, the layers are starting to peel back because I was starting to think maybe it's something wrong with me that is not mm -hmm. understanding what happened here because for so long I'm like, what am I missing yeah. from this case? Because right. it never truly made sense None all the way. No, you would think about, well, okay, what happened is unfortunate, but maybe it's just formalities that mm. happened. But now that you think about it, someone had to sign off on it. Someone had to set this up. There mm -hmm. were steps that were taken on what happened on March 13th. And we do know at the end of that night, a life was taken. Mm -hmm. And we've been saying her name ever since. So finally we're getting some type of justice in this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. much needed, yeah. for sure.